Heidi, howdy, hody, how. It is Greg Bosson here from the wonderful land of QuickBooks Made Easy. The year is 2015. The month is February, and it is QuickBooks Made Easy's quick tip for the month of, well, February 2015. I already said that. So anyway, um, here we are. And uh, this month's quick tip, by the way, you should have gotten this when you, well, most of you got it from your emailed newsletter. But if you just happened upon this video from YouTube, sign up for our little e-newsletter once a month. It's free. It's at the end of the little video here. But anyway, so uh, this month's tip for you QuickBooks users is all about accounts payable and specifically a problem that people encounter where, about basically they end up with a bunch of bills in QuickBooks that are showing outstanding when they've already been paid. Let me show you the problem. I'm going to go to reports, I'm going to go to vendors and payables, and I'm going to go to unpaid bills detail. And when I click it, you're going to get a list of all your outstanding bills. Here's a bill that's 331 days old. Now I know I'm bad with bills, but I'm not that bad. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I know I've already paid this bill. This is the problem, okay? And I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, if you go to your data file after you listen to this tip, you're going to find old bills in this report that have already been paid. I guarantee you. Even if you don't use the bills feature, somebody used the bills feature at some point in the past, and they didn't use it correctly, and so you end up with a bunch of outstanding bills that have already been paid. All right? So that's the problem. So just to repeat here. Vendors, whoops, not vendors, reports, vendors and payables, unpaid bills detail. Go to that report, look and see if you have any outstanding bills that have already been paid. So, what I'm going to do in this tip is I'm going to explain to you why a, this problem occurs, how to avoid making the mistake that causes the problem, and then how to fix the mistake if you've already made it. Okay? <laughs> so, first thing is I need to school you a little bit on how the what the right way is of entering and paying bills. You go to home. So if you're the kind that gets bills in the mail and you enter them into QuickBooks ahead of time, in other words, you're using the accounts payable portion of the of the program, we click enter bills, we enter the bill here. Then when it comes time to pay it, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to click the pay bill screen. Okay? But a lot of people don't do that. Instead, they just go to the write checks window because they know they got to write a check and they pay the bill by going into the write checks window. That's a problem. Okay, let me show you what happens. I'm going to go ahead and let me go back to the report here. I wonder if it's still open. It is. Okay, so here this bill, 332.50 to Georgia Power. I'm going to go ahead and pay this bill the wrong way, okay? Again, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go over here to pay bills, and you're supposed to pay the bill that way. And what that does is it allows you to lower the bill at the same time. It'll create a check for you. You can either handwrite or print, or you can mark that you paid it by debit, okay? That's what you're supposed to do, okay? Oh. I will say this too, if you are downloading transactions, you can still enter your bills, and when you go to uh, download the transactions, maybe you paid it online, you can click on a check, and you can click select bills to mark as pay. So see, again, even if you're downloading transactions, you should always be uh, making your payments against the bills by either selecting bills here if you're going online, or you're supposed to go to the pay bill screen and pay it this way, okay? But nevertheless, a lot of people, they do it incorrectly, they'll go to write checks. So I'm going to go to write a check for Georgia Power. So now what I'm going to do is basically show you how this problem occurs. Click Georgia Power. Now QuickBooks tries to keep us from making the mistake of not paying the bills correctly, okay? So what do we do here? Uh, it's saying here, wow, there are open bills, uh, and if you, if you enter a check, it could screw up your accounts payable. Well, what do we do when we see warnings like this? We're like, uh, these are a lot of words that I don't want to read because I'm in a hurry. Ooh, here's a pretty blue button. I think I'll push that. So then you basically override the warning. And uh, we'll go ahead and pay the bill, 332.50, by writing a check. Again, this is the wrong way. We point it to electricity. We click Save and Close. Great. 
we'll go back to our report and even though we know that we just paid this bill it's still outstanding now there's an additional problem that occurs when you do this uh, over and above the accounts payable report being wrong it also screws up your profit and loss ah that got your attention uh, when I go to the profit and loss here for the month of June go down here to electricity you will see if 694.79 that sounds kind of high that's because it now has doubled the expense for Georgia Power you entered electricity expense once when you entered the bill double click and there it is I entered this bill before I started this recording but then when you went to write the check to pay the bill you more than likely pointed it to electricity again which means you're doubling your expenses all right so that's why the problem occurs people go to the right checks window uh, and they don't go to the pay bills window or if they're downloading when they download instead of picking let me go back in here instead of picking select bills they'll just go over here to the account and they'll point it to electricity or something like that they'll double it up okay so that's why the problem occurs so how do you fix the problem well in this particular case since the bill and the check were in the same month probably just go delete the bill that's not a big deal that'd probably be the easiest thing to do but if this happened a long time ago like it did with this bill which the bill was 331 days ago that's maybe even in a prior fiscal year okay if it happened a long time ago we do not want to delete that bill because it's going to change our prior year financial statement so we don't want to do that okay so what are we going to do to fix the problem this is where the meat of this topic is uh, this is really kind of cool so I know I've paid this bill 36 25 50 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the edit find and if you're in the online edition you can go to the little search thing at the top of your screen but I'm going to go to find and I'm going to use this find feature I'm going to click on amount and look for all transactions that have that exact same dollar amount in it 36 25 50 because I know there must be a payment in here I'll click it here's the bill 65123 six five one two three so that's that bill but then here is the check check 1006 okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the check now what you might be tempted to do which would also be wrong is to delete the check and then just re-enter it as a bill payment when you go to do that you'll get a warning are you sure you want to delete this reconciled transaction that's the operative word the most important word here is reconciled never ever ever delete a cleared transaction you won't be able to do your bank rec do not delete a cleared transaction okay that is a bad idea okay so we don't want to delete it what we're going to do instead this is the cool thing instead of it being pointed to the same expense account that the bill was pointed to in this case equipment rental what I'm going to do is I'm going to point it to accounts payable and I'm going to do it for this particular vendor I know this says customer job but I can put the name of a vendor here if I have accounts payable as the account so what I'm doing is instead of doubling up on expenses I'm now pointing it against accounts payable where the bill is for this particular vendor I'm going to go ahead and click save and close great so I haven't deleted the cleared transaction and I've also fixed it to where now it's going against accounts payable as a matter of fact now accounts payable is zero for this vendor now the only other thing is this is kind of annoying because really we've got a check and we've got a bill they really need to be connected to each other I mean they're part of the same vendor but they really don't need to be on the report at all anymore so this is the final little thread here and then we'll be done with the topic so what you do here to fix this is anytime you want to make a bill go down you usually got to go into pay bills to make it go down so I'm gonna go into pay bills you go to my little home page here and go down to pay bills and uh, here's my bill it's been around forever I've been looking at it, even though I know it's already been paid but when I click on it 
you'll see that there is a credit available now of 3625. That credit was created when we pointed the check to accounts payable a minute ago. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the bill like I'm going to pay it. After I check the bill, you see the button says set credits. I'm going to click that button. I'm going to check it off. It'll usually check it for me. And what this is doing, it's applying that credit, which was that check, to the bill. I'm going to click done. So now basically it's taking the bill, 3625, it's applying that payment to it. So now it knows what's left to pay is zero. Okay. Now then what you want to do, even though what's left to pay is zero, you still got to pay selected bills in order to get this to record. In other words, in order to really apply this credit, which is your payment, to the bill, you got to click pay selected bills. Now I think what I'm going to do is pop up, let me see if I can still do this, my unpaid bills detail report. There we go. So there it is right there. I'm going to click pay bills. And I'll refresh it. Now it's telling us that the rest of the bill was zero, so they didn't really create a check or anything. It's just telling us that um, we've basically paid the bill. I'll click done. And now it's gone all together. So that's how you correct these things by changing the expense on the check over to accounts uh, payable and then go into pay bills to apply it. Pretty cool. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll be seeing you next month.